way to uh, Prescott, Arizona. I'm going to be picking up a, I believe, a 1947 Kenworth needle nose for one of my good buddies. Um, and I'm going to drag you along and we're going to pick this motherfucker up. So, um, quick story behind it. It's at some antique store. They sold it. My buddy wants to rebuild it and uh, just do a bunch of cool shit with it. But uh, apparently it ran a year ago and they parked it and now it won't start. The guy's saying he jumped it and it's it, he's trying to trying to jump it and not start it. So I'm assuming it's a back connection somewhere. Maybe a froze up starter or some shit. But we're going to try like hell, get her going and get her on the trailer. So fucking stick around. Pretty fucking sweet. Alright, so, well, we've been here for a minute. The guy that owns the fucking truck that just sold it to my buddy, um, he ended up going back to his house. Uh, we were planned on starting, like, to fuck with it in the morning. Excuse me, so, um, that was kind of our fucking plan. But, I just went bob tilled and, uh, I went and picked up two new batteries, so, what I think is going on in this fucking thing, I think his batteries are shot. And I think, um, with it being shot, that fucking, also something's going on with the starter, but it's not enough, there's not enough ampage to, like, crank over the fucking starter to crank over the motor, if that makes any sense. I'm not a mechanic, I'm just figuring it the fuck out. But anyway, so, here you got your starter, right? So I jumped it off of the solenoids that are right fucking right here. Tried to jump it, it just not really going anywhere but this thing at the ass end here you can fucking see that this thing right there she's a little bit of a bitch to get to but that'll crank her over so i don't know if they made these old trucks with a lever in them to fucking um that you're supposed to push a lever maybe push that in or something like that i don't really know but game plan is is uh i'm gonna fucking go through rip out these batteries put the new ones in Hook we'll all that up. I'm probably gonna crash here for the night, order some fucking food. Cause I'm in a pretty like city fucking place. And uh fuck it, I guess fuck with it in the morning when he comes back over here. He's probably gonna come over here on like six or seven in the morning and uh I'll see where we get. I think I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I my life, I love this. <laughs> I'm a bigger sir. Come on. I think she's just sit a minute. Fuck, we're getting close. Come on, baby. You got it. You got it. Come on. Oh, fucking kill the batteries now. <sighs> Tired. Just close. I'm so fucking excited. 
excited. by myself but we're about to put this motherfucker up on the ramps <laughs> this is not as easy as I thought it was by myself I was trying to pull it up this way by myself trying to pull it up this way and then he just must have poured this gravel down I fucking got stuck in it I just start this bitch like 10 times he kept stalling it like an idiot holy smokes what a chore well Let's pray to God we don't eat this thing off the truck and trailer, shall we? Well, no update on the truck situation. We went to run in that bitch. Oh, fucking trailer and the goddamn fuel tank hooked my fucking trailer and broke the spout out the fucking bottom of the tank, so... You can imagine, I am covered in fucking diesel fuel because my first instinct was to run up with my fucking hand on the hole and hold the fucking hole until somebody found something to plug the son of a fucking bitch with. I ended up waking up the dude that, uh, that sold the truck to help him get me on, like, get the truck on the trailer because it fucking. I couldn't quite eyeball it because of the fenders were sticking out too far, so I was like, well, might as well ask for help instead of wrecking this fucker. And... So I gotta do a fill in video because. The video I was just showing, um, I put my phone on my steering wheel tired and it rattled and you couldn't hear a fucking thing, but, anywho, so, I got a hold of that guy, I woke him up, to eyeball me to get on the trailer, and so, I was like, well, so let's go put it out on Main Street, because every time we kept trying to put it on in his driveway, his gravel was really loose, we kept burying the truck in the gravel, so I said, let's go get it out on Main Street in the center lane, and we'll get it on that way, so, uh, he, I told him, I said, you got her floor it on and well on those old school tanks it had a fucking 90 degree fucking angle um spout with the line like feeds up into the motor and yeah clean took that motherfucker off with half a take of fuel in there so that was a bit of a mess got that situated and uh yeah at that point we had to coaster back into the yard i parked my rig and called it a night everything i could have done to do and I ended up getting a hold of the wrecker and I told him come beat on my door and wake me up in the morning, I'll be here and I'll pay you in cash. And they were wicked cool, actually really cheap surprise you enough. They like it was like hardly anything to be honest for a wrecker, which is really cool. But uh they came in the morning and then uh they helped me get this thing on here, so we got her done. Well, morning update. 
fucking wrecker showed out because that's all the option that we have now. So now I'm filling in some fucking ruts down here. Um, try to make this guy's yard a little bit nicer. I don't want to destroy somebody's lot. But yeah, no, hopefully we get this figured out. Sounds like it's going to be pretty hopeful and really cool, dude. And bullshit and truck for about 30 minutes. So the boys just left with a wrecker. Oh, um, we finally got her on here. It's going good. Gonna go ahead and get it fucking chained down and then we'll be out on the road. I think we finally got it fucking figured out. After a night of chaos and getting this motherfucker started, we got ourselves a 1947 fucking needle nose Kenworth motherfucker. Fuck yeah. <laughs>